Tensions boiling over on UNC Chapel Hill's campus. In the last hour, the situation involving pro-Palestinian protesters and police certainly escalated. We saw at least one protester there being knocked to the ground, others shoving with police. Bottles were tossed at officers. Pepper spray was used. The officers moved in moments after protesters replaced an American flag with this, a Palestinian flag. Today's clashes starting at 6 o'clock this morning when 30 people were detained for refusing to clear an encampment on campus. We have a live look from WRAL Sky 5 flying over campus right now. As you can see, the crowd does appear to be thinning out a bit. The university did decide to cancel classes for today, the last day of the semester. Of course, a lot of that park covered in tree cover. We've seen a lot of people there by the chancellor's office and the courthouse. It has been a very intense day in Chapel Hill. Thank you for joining us here at 4 o'clock. I'm Dan Haggerty. And I'm Lena Tillette. This whole situation has been going on for days now. UNC police clearing the encampment today, but of course that didn't stop things. WRL's Matt Tallhelm has been on campus all day. Still looks like a sizable crowd behind you, Matt. The situation really exploding around 2 o'clock. Where do things stand now? Yeah, Lena, it is quieter. It is a different crowd out here. The pro-Palestinian groups that were out here protesting in Polk Place all day within the last 30 minutes told most of their crowd disperse, go home. So now it's just students really gathered out here kind of hanging out. Classes have been canceled because of everything that happened here today. All of this uh, really focused around what you see right there, that American flag in the center. These are some Jewish and Israeli supporters here with that American flag. One of those U.S. flags was torn down, as you mentioned, by those Palestinian protesters. And then the chancellor, whose office is right up there in the South Building, came out of his office. Interim Chancellor Lee Roberts walked down these steps, leading police to those protesters to break this up. Police moved into UNC's Polk Place for the second time in a day. After protesters tore down metal barricades to reach the flagpole in the center of the quad, where they raised a Palestinian flag in place of the Stars and Stripes. Police from across the UNC system descended on this same space for the first time before dawn on day five of the encampment on the quad. You got over 100, 200 police officers marching onto a campus to, to disrupt students while they're sleeping. And we are still not scared. Officers overturned an air mattress fortress built around the center of the encampment block. Some protesters tried to stop police vehicles, even laying down on the sidewalk in front of them. UNC says about 30 people were detained in the movement. At least six were arrested and charged with resisting a public officer. Several face other charges, including trespassing and assault. Dozens of supporters surrounded those arrested protesters and tried to block our cameras as they were released from the Orange County Detention Center. They are really rattled because it was like a traumatic thing to experience, but we are not phased. We are not phased. We will continue to push and to fight and we will not back down. That's the message they brought back to campus for a protest on the steps of the university's administration building. Behind the crowd of hundreds supporting the Palestinian movement, a handful of Jewish fraternity members held an Israeli flag in quiet counter-protest. While not a large Jewish community, we have a strong one here on campus and that we aren't going to just disappear because stuff like this happens at UNC. Now, the university gave the protesters 30 minutes to move out of that encampment this morning. The university saying we must consider the physical safety of all our students, faculty and staff. In addition, we are alarmed at the rising accounts of anti-Semitic speech and we categorically denounce this and any other incidents of prejudice. They say those leaders of that encampment stopped interacting, stopped communicating with the university over the weekend. And that's why they made the decision to move in here. But again, as you can see, now it's mostly just the students hanging out here. They're not part of any protests on either side of this as uh, this all unfolded and this tension this afternoon that rose up. It does seem to be calming down at least here now. We do not know if anyone else was arrested this afternoon in the clearing of the flagpole here. That is something we're working to find out from UNC. A lot going on there. Uh, stay on top of it. Matt Tallholm reporting live for us in Chapel Hill. Thank you. And our team coverage of the protest on the campus continues this evening. WRL's Destiny Patterson will join us live ahead on our News at 5.
I'm Ashley Rowe in the WRL Live Center. You heard Matt Tallhelm talking about that flagpole. Here is a shot of that aerial view of the UNC campus from our Sky 5. You know, UNC among 25 campuses across the country where arrests have been made. You've heard a lot about Columbia University through all of this. It has severely restricted access after protests escalated there. I want to show you this video. This shows you just how much it has restricted access. You can see police setting up fences. Here is why there is now only one way in or out to its main campus. Only students who live there and essential staff are allowed through. Columbia University releasing a statement today saying those who occupied the building overnight could face expulsion and people who stay in the encampment could face suspension. House Representative Virginia Fox, she represents the part of North Carolina where Winston-Salem, Greensboro are. She has given some universities notice saying that they are required to come to Congress to testify for a committee hearing about what she's calling anti-Semitism on campus. I just want to give you one quote that she did during a news conference this afternoon saying, quote, no stone must go unturned while buildings are being defaced, campus greens are being captured, or graduations are being ruined. At this time, UNC not among those campuses that she is calling for the presidents to come to Congress for. Back to you. All right, Ashley, thank you. The state focus.